Okay, Spirit Clearance Day. Everything is for sale. Even the displays, the store animatronics, everything is for sale today. Here's a uh, sold piece already, the old shooting range. Here's a list of some of the prices for stuff that's for sale, but we're going to get into that very shortly. Hello again, ghouls and goblins, and welcome back to the channel. Today's spooky adventure brings us to Spirit Halloween on November 1st because it is 50% off day, and they only have, I think, two more days left in business before everything gets up to like 75% off, but Ashley will be covering that this weekend, so stay tuned for that also. And one day removed from Halloween, I can't believe, as soon as I got in my truck this morning, I put on the radio, and they're playing Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas is You, one day after Halloween. Feels like Christmas already, I guess. Can't believe how fast they push these holidays now. But anyway, we're gonna go inside Spirit Halloween today and see what stuff they have left over from yesterday, because yesterday obviously was their biggest day, their biggest week was Halloween week. So we'll see if any animatronics are left, anything good left for 50% off. This is a great time to do Christmas shopping for those spooky ghouls and goblins, excuse me, on your list or yourself because you can get this stuff at half price now. What will they have left? Only one way to find out. Join us if you dare. One, two, spooky five. Whatever you're doing this Halloween, Spirit Halloween is your one-stop Halloween superstore. Experience the Fright Zone inside the store with killer haunted house decor and animated monsters for your front porch or front office. An enormous selection of costumes for the entire family. A large selection of wigs, shoes, hats, makeup, and accessories. New shipments arrive every week, so grab your friends and don't just shop for Halloween. Experience your Halloween superstore, Spirit, Spirit Halloween. Halloween. Okay, so here we go. For my last time this year, let's go inside Spirit Halloween and see exactly what is left from Halloween week. And you can already see right here, November 1st, 50% off decor, 25% off of costumes and accessories. November 2nd, 50% off of everything. And I do believe they're going to be open on November 3rd, possibly, but maybe they're not this year. So I guess 50% off is going to be as good as it gets this year. Okay, so as I walk to the other door, it does say it right here, last day of business, November 3rd. So that is normally when it's about 75% off. So hopefully Ashley will cover that one for us and see how things are looking towards the last day of business for Spirit in 2024. Okay, and as soon as we walk in, you can already see the Welcome to the Carn Evil display is already sold. People love buying this stuff to make their own haunted houses at home, and basically all of the retail displays are for sale, and they'll basically give this stuff away for hardly anything. We'll get to the prices of that in just a minute, as you saw at the start of this video, but unfortunately, this one is already sold. I picked up a few pieces last year. Go back and check out that video and this right here is $279.99 for ghost face so basically at 50% off right now you can get this animatronic for about 140 bucks not terrible at all for the ghost face animatronic you can see the ticket booth over here at the carnival is sold also so people are definitely jumping on these displays for sure. It looks like this is the biggest selling stuff right now. Here's another one. The shooting gallery is already sold. And it's just like, wow, I guess people just want to set up their own carnival for their own haunted house. So there are a lot of animatronics left as I'm filming this at my store. So let's go through this. And all of these, again, are going to be half price. We're not going to spend a lot of time on the prices of flipping the boxes around you can find the prices for them online currently but mr punchy there would be around 105 dollars they've still got the killer clowns from outer space one here slim he's going to be like 200 bucks and he's a big animatronic so for 200 dollars that's not bad at all but the kids halloween section obviously has been hit pretty hard from what i'm seeing early on in this video it looks like that's going to be the hardest hit area in this store the little Skelly Bones guy here is going to be about 
80 bucks, give or take. And they've still got some Bobby strings hanging around here. No pun intended with Bobby strings hanging around. He's going to be about $160 if you're lucky enough to find him because I know he was a popular animatronic this year. There's the Ringmaster. Got a bunch of these plush stuffed animals thrown up here. Not that they're animals, but plush stuffs, I guess what I'll call it. A lot of Christmas gift ideas right here. These Funko Pops. These average around $30, so you can get these for around $15 now. Lots of gift ideas for your spooky Christmas shopping already if you're looking to do this on a budget. So definitely get out there and do the legwork this morning and this weekend. Here's uh, Nozzles the Clown. He's going to be about $160, $170. Ashley has this guy, the Demonic Gatekeeper. I think she paid around roughly $200 for him. So I'm assuming now he would probably be falling in the $100 price range. And we've got more of these over here. We've got the groundbreaking worm. That's going to be around the $75 price range. The three-headed beast here, he's going to be around the $65 range. Got a leather face here falling in the $175 range. Not as good as how Party City had leather face marked down for under $100, but still $175 for a leather face animatronic is going to be great. But yeah, the kids section definitely got hit pretty hard for all the trick-or-treaters last night, obviously. This one here is going to be $100 for the Howlin' Spirit. And again, if you see something you want, don't wait on it and say, hey, I'm going to try to get it at 75% off come November 3rd, because a lot of this stuff is going to be gone, I'm assuming, later on today or tomorrow. I'm here filming this almost as soon as the doors open at 10 a.m. I'm about an hour behind when they actually opened so as i'm filming this of course it's friday november 1st so a lot of people probably haven't gotten off work yet and made their way here to see but i'm assuming tonight by closing at 8 p.m because they're going to close at 8 p.m at most locations a lot of stuff is going to be probably getting picked over pretty hard between 5 p.m and 8 p.m so definitely get out there and and find this stuff they've still got wanda webworth up here she's for sale a lot of the store displays are for sale, and I can't remember what her price point was. I think she was around the $250 range, maybe, so she's about $125 now. They've got the uh, cotton candy creepy clown here. He's for sale. It's like everything's for sale. Everything must go. It's a big closeout sale, of course, and it doesn't look like they moved any of the pet costumes. Then, of course, here's the sold funhouse of terror that you can walk through. If I had gotten any of them, I would have gotten that, the walkthrough Funhouse of Terror. Here's Bobby Strings store display for sale. I don't think currently that the store displays are any cheaper than the boxed Bobby Strings, but it would be worth asking an associate about and seeing if it is a price difference. And here's the bear on the ball, Barnaby the bear. He's for sale also. I think the store display at this store is the only one they have currently of him as well as this Emily. She never got Victor at this store, but she's also for sale. And it says right there, see an associate if you want to buy one of the floor models. So possibly they are a little bit cheaper. So I would ask. Uh, some of the adult costume section, it's, it's pretty, pretty stocked still, I would say. It's not completely wiped out, but it's not as full as it was, obviously, for sure. So this right here tells us basically how much some of the displays are like the rats ten dollars popcorn five zombie seagull tickets ten sign if you want to freeze this and pause it right here you can kind of see how much some of the retail displays are going for and i'm assuming they're probably going to be about the same price point at every spirit halloween i wouldn't imagine they'd be any different let's walk through the uh tunnel of terror here for the last time this year i'm sure everything's probably turned off by now yeah, it is to be expected. I didn't think that they would have it activated on November 1st, but it looks like there was a killer clown partying in here last night. Thankfully, no signs of her right now, so I'll make it out of here safely. Plenty of lights and fog machines left over, and this guy's still hanging around. He's another retail floor model display for sale, and I don't think any of these are going to come with boxes probably, so you're just going to get what you get there and... Just be happy with it for whatever price they, they give it to you for, I guess. There's lots of these side steppers left. Lots of decor left. Like, I'm really surprised that there's so much decor left. This big ghost face oversized blow mold is still hanging around. That's going to run you about $21 now. 
there was just a lot of decor left. I guess people didn't really want to spend their money on this type of stuff this year. But again, I'm standing by it. I think between 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. tonight, a lot of this stuff is going to get hit pretty hard. So if you want to check your stores, get out there and do it now and, you know, do the legwork. If you don't want to do the legwork, go ahead and hit the uh, Spirit Halloween website and hopefully you can get lucky and find stuff. But I'm sure that the website probably started getting hit pretty hard last night right after midnight when I guess the sale went active, if that's when it did go active. But there's a lot left at this store here in North Carolina, so I am pleasantly surprised, and I'm definitely going to be picking up a few items for some Christmas gifts so I can go ahead and get some shopping done at a decent price because at 50% off, why not? I mean, I don't think there's going to be much left. doesn't look like they moved any of the Bates Motel signs. I've actually got a sign similar to that from Big Lots from about 15 years ago before I guess they had the rights to use Bates Motel. Mine said Bats Motel. Got a lot of these Beetlejuice hanging decorations left around here. A lot of a, a lot of stuff. It's just a lot of stuff. I'm really surprised to see how much stuff is left because last year when I did this on November 1st, there wasn't a lot left. They were already hit pretty hard, and I hit it at the same time last year. You can get these dolls right now for like $15 because they're normally like $30. So they're going for around the $15 mark. So if you have a doll collector in your life, now's the time to stock up on some of the uh, creepy haunted dolls that are hanging around the store still. They've even got a big oversized Annabelle doll right now. She's like 90 bucks, so she'd be $45 after the 50% off. This Chucky's gonna be, well, Tiffany, she's gonna be like $35. So there's definitely lots to get. There's still this oversized Sam Blow mold and more Beetlejuice merchandise also. I am really surprised at how much they have in here, but I'm definitely gonna watch how much I spend because thankfully, there's not a lot in here I need. So I think I'm going to get out of this pretty pretty much safely by not spending too much money just on Christmas shopping ideas for me. And then there's the adult section over here. We'll get to that a little bit more in a few minutes. And here's some of the masks that are left over. It looks like the masks got picked over pretty hard this past week, obviously, for a lot of adult costumes and kids, too. Just throwing a mask on is basically the easiest, simplest way to do Halloween. So they definitely have been picked over here some. I'm not even seeing any of the Halloween 3 masks left. I'm really not even seeing any of the vintage style masks that I like. It looks like this was definitely hit pretty hard and some of the masks range from like anywhere between 15 to like the $60 range. So you're looking at anywhere now between like $750 to $30 for some of the more high-end masks. This vintage clown mask here is going to be like $6 or $7 after clearance. Seems like only yesterday I was putting on this move-in clown mask when I was filming the weird spirit halloween costumes out in california earlier this year and then frankenstein is still hanging around he's one of the more licensed masks that i still see hanging around there's a vintage cat and then there's star wars and there's a purge mask and there's misfits over here and it's just crazy it looks like a lot of people definitely bought masks for sure this year Wow, what a mess over here by the t-shirt wall. This looks like a train wreck. This has definitely been picked over pretty hard. I don't even know if there's anything worth looking through over here anymore, but uh, maybe I'll go through this and see if there's anything cool over here. But man, the t-shirts definitely got wrecked last night. I guess it was basically a t-shirt mask night for Halloween night last night. And this section over here by the adult costumes got hit pretty hard also, so... Definitely seeing in the like horror themed section of adult costumes stuff got hit a little bit harder than the more comic con style stuff. However, the Sam section doesn't look like it got touched at all. Basically, I guess trick or treat wasn't extremely popular this year for costumes. I guess in a few years when trick or treat two comes out, it'll probably be a little bit more popular than it was this year. And then we've got a few more costumes over here. This is probably the most generic packaging I've ever seen right here. I guess it's Winnie. It says Winnie. And then we've got a ghost face flag. I don't even remember seeing this ghost face flag, so that's a first for me seeing that this year. And if we just keep going through here, we'll kind of see definitely the adult section did get wiped out because there's an entire empty pegboard right there. 
And then there's some missing pieces here and there scattered throughout the store. But again, costumes are only 25% off currently. So if you want them at 50% off, you're going to have to wait until tomorrow. Wow, yeah, that was like the Hulk 2 section there that we covered back in the day of being the weird costumes. And I think there's one Hulk 2 shirt still remaining. This to me is just dumb. I'm so glad that this is basically phasing out because I, I don't understand that. Maybe I'm just getting older, but I, I don't get it. That is an inflatable chicken, and I don't even see the Scooby-Doo costume anymore. Okay, so that's going to wrap up this video. Start checking your spirit Halloweens today. Don't miss those deals before they disappear, just like Halloween disappeared last night because there's plenty of stuff still in the stores as I'm filming this early this morning before noon. So if you want to find it, get out early, do the leg work, get out there and find that stuff. I was able to find a bunch of cool stuff, but not going to be able to show it, unfortunately, because a lot of the stuff is going to be Christmas gifts. So if I do that now, I'm basically going to blow it and everybody's going to know what they've got for Christmas. So unfortunately, I can't show it, but I saved a bunch of money by doing my Christmas shopping at the Spirit Halloween clearance sale. So if that's on your plan, get out and do it today. Don't wait until the last day because there's probably going to be nothing left. And at 50% off, you can't beat it. But even though Halloween season is over, we still have plenty of clearance videos coming from what's left over this spooky season. And after that, we've got spooky Christmas coming and all sorts of stuff. We stay spooky 365 days a year. We're not going anywhere. So if you're new here, how about slashing that subscribe button and joining the club. Until next time, we'll see you on the dark side.